Hey, what's up everyone? It's Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add pop-up text to your videos just like this. Pop-up text in video is a great way to hold your audience's attention and really emphasize those important moments of your recordings. And one way to do this is to screen capture yourself speaking over slides in Keynote or in PowerPoint where each slide or each action within a slide reveals a new word. So for example, you can see I'm here in Keynote right now and I've just set up a number of slides where each slide kind of reveals another word. So all I have to do is just screen record using some software like ScreenFlow or Camtasia and just simultaneously go to the next slide while saying those words with my arrow keys. So for example, I'm gonna say, pop-up text is awesome you know so that's how you do it and so let me zoom in for you so you can get the full effect pop-up text is awesome Woohoo! <laughs> now the issue with keynote or powerpoint is that it limits you in the way that you can only create pop-up text over some sort of static image or background and i don't think you can do pop-up text with any kind of moving elements again this isn't keynote or in powerpoint so how do you get pop-up text over your recorded videos, moving stuff, stuff that you film with your camera? And that's all done in post-production. So you film the stuff first, and then you use software, just like ScreenFlow or Camtasia, once again, to add that text in there when you're saying those words. And I'm gonna show you how I do that in ScreenFlow right now. Okay, so here you are in ScreenFlow, and you're actually looking at the ScreenFlow file for this exact video that you're watching right now. We're here at the beginning of the intro, which you've already seen at the top of this video. This is the intro video. There's the audio below it. And then at the five to five and a half second mark here, you'll notice these text elements, each one representing a different word that pops up at a different time on the screen. I've already placed them, I've already scaled them and stuff, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But I'm gonna show you what happens when I press play and this little red line moves from left to right. I want you to notice what happens on the preview screen here uh, when that line hits the beginning of each of these text elements. So I'm gonna press play for you now. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add pop-up text to your videos just like this. And really that's all you have to do is put text elements on the timeline where you want them to show up, making sure they're above the layer that your video is on and they're gonna show up where you want them to and you can scale them, you can rotate them if you want, you can change the colors and for each of the different words. So I'm gonna show you how to do this really quick. So just as an example, I'm going to add pop-up text when I say my name, Pat Flynn, at the beginning of this video. So I'm just gonna walk you through this. So I'm gonna rewind, I'm gonna press play. Hey, what's up everyone, it's Pat Flynn. From okay, so it happens right around here. So I'm actually gonna zoom in so I can find the exact wavelength here in the audio file where I say my name. It's easier to kind of find it that way. And you wanna be pretty precise so it, the pop-ups are crisp and clean. So what you can actually do is kind of look at your face if you're speaking or kind of listen to see where exactly you start to say the word that you wanna put a pop-up text for. So if I look at my face, at, it's around right there. There, that's when I first say my name. So what I'm gonna do at that point, now that I'm hovered over this moment in time, is click on the text properties box and then add text box. As you can see, that adds a text element here. If I scroll all the way to the top of the timeline, you'll see it added this uh, element in the timeline for me. I'm gonna double click on that and change it to my name, Pat. I'm gonna move it. I'm going to use the text properties area to change the font here to franchise to match the rest. Change the font size here, but you know, I actually like doing it better in the scale area in the video properties section, just cause you can get a little bit more precise. And then there's just kind of ugly background behind it. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, text properties section and, and just get rid of that back backdrop setting. So as you can see, it says Pat there. Now if I zoom out and you'll see that when I start the video from the beginning, it should come in at the precise moment that I say my name. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. All right, so that, that's how it works. Now, just to make it easier for you, because I know you're gonna do more than just one word, what you can do to kind of shortcut your way there is to highlight the one that you just did, copy it using you know Control C, or you can go to Edit Copy or whatever, and then click Command V or Control V to paste. And that automatically places another set of text, the exact same one in the timeline above. And you can kind of move that around and kind of guess where your other one is gonna be. Uh, you know, you obviously wanna be precise and we can do that in a second, but 
Um, and making sure that one is highlighted, I'm going to change the text to my last name, Flynn. Now it's obviously too big, so I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And I'm going to move it below my name there. I'm not going to be totally precise with it right now, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, so let's see. If, let me guess that's going to happen right there, and we'll try to play it. Everyone, it's Pat Flynn from Smart. Oh, too soon. So what I could do is actually zoom in, and you use the same technique. Pat. Look at my face. It's so funny there. <laughs> Probably right there. So now let me start the video over and see if that works. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Pat Flynn from Smart Passive Income. All right. So as you can see, that that worked out. Now, how do you finish this off? Now, if I just leave it as is, you'll see that Pat will end first and Flynn will end second uh, if, if this goes Com. correctly. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add pop-up text to your videos. See, that's kind of funny because that overlaps with some of the text I did there. So you can actually shorten the length that these show up. I'm going to match them up and ScreenFlow makes it nice and snaps it for me. And just to finish them off nicely, I'm gonna right click at the end of this time here and click on add ending transition. And what this does is you can, you're able to, I'm gonna right click again uh, and add cross dissolve. You know, there's different types of transitions, but I usually just do cross dissolve. And that what that does, it kind of gives it a nice fading effect at this moment in time. So if I scroll over this, you'll see, See kind of how it disappears and it leaves room for those other ones that come in later. So let's start it from the beginning and uh, see what happens. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add pop-up text to your videos just like this. All right, awesome. And then it goes into my little bumper video intro there. So that's how it works. That's how you can add pop-up text to your moving videos using uh, ScreenFlow. And you can also do the same thing with Camtasia. Uh, Camtasia has both a Mac and PC version, so you PC users can use Camtasia for that. Now there's one tip I want to give you, don't overdo this. I've seen videos before that do this on every single word and it's just, that's crazy because it's going to take a lot of time and also it kind of decreases the impact of this effect. You want to use this only at your most important parts of your video. As you can see, I use it at the beginning of my video when I asked the question uh, or, or I said what the video was going to be about. Or if you have a really important point in the middle of your video, you know, this is a great place to add that element. Don't overdo it. It's just going to waste your time and it's going to decrease the whole effect of this particular technique. So I hope you enjoyed that tip. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Feel free to ask me any questions if you have any and I will do my best to answer them and I'll see you on the blog. Please subscribe and I'll check you out at smartpassiveincome.com.